The left was shipped to Moldovan, settled. Hello everyone and welcome to a new Romania Fan TV video where we're going to be talking about the top five Romanian talent who can hopefully help us qualify for the 2022 World Cup. Let's hope so. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Coming in at number five, we got Yanis Hadji, who of course is the son of the great Gheorghe Hadji. As you probably already know, Yanis plays for the Scottish side Rangers, who of course are the champions in Scotland. And Yanis himself has actually been doing pretty well, having the joint most assists in the Scottish League. There are also quite a few rumours surrounding the 23-year-old, as clubs such as Lazio and Spurs have shown an interest in him. So, as I can see it, the future seems to be very bright for the, for the legend's son. Up next, at number four, we got Andre Radu. Radu is a 23-year-old keeper for the Italian side Inter Milan. He seems to be an amazing player, with all the coaches at the club complimenting him week in and week out. However, the reason why I put him only in fourth is because he doesn't have a, get a lot of game time, because Handanovic, as you know, is a main keeper at Inter Milan, and it's hard for him to start every single game. So, for him to improve, I reckon that he needs to get a loan to a new club, like a smaller club, where he can start every game and then impress there. And then I reckon by the time he's, what, 26, he's going to be one of the best keepers in Europe. Coming in at number three is someone who you might not have heard of, and that is Radu Dragosin. Now, the 19-year-old plays, uh, plays as a centre-back for the Italian club Juventus, which is a huge club in Italy, having won the Champions League two times. Now, Radu seems to be very promising, as he's been the only pl Romanian player in the, this current season to play in the Champions League, which is very impressive for a player of his age. In order for him to improve, I reckon he should go on loan to a smaller club, just as how Radu should go on loan to a smaller club. They're, oh, they're both called Radu. <laughs> but the other Radu, the goalkeeper, they should both go on loan to a smaller club and then see if they can perform there. And then hopefully they're going to be able to perform in the Champions League and at international levels. Overall, I feel like Dragosin has a lot of potential. Next up at number two is probably my favourite player this season. And that is, of course, the 21-year-old Valentin Mihaila. The winger has recently moved to Italy to play for the club Parma Calcio, where he has been doing amazing He's only played 500 minutes in Italy and he's already scored three goals and gotten two assists. And of course, if you watch Romanian football, you would have seen the absolutely insane goal he scored against North Macedonia on his international, on his Romanian international debut. Like that is mental. He is definitely, he definitely has the capacity to be a world class player and one of the best in the world. And finally, at number one, we have Dennis Mann. Now, Dennis Mann plays for the same club as Valentin Mihaila. He recently joined Parma Calcio, uh, actually in this January he joined, and they've been doing extremely well, having gotten quite a few points for Parma in the past few weeks. He's only 22, and at the rate he is going, I think he's going to be a world-class player by the age of 25. Man also got Romanian player of the year in 2020. So I reckon, so he definitely deserves this spot at number one. That then concludes today's video of the top five Romanian talents in Romania. This was a bit of a shorter video, but if you do, then if you did end up liking it, then please do consider subscribing as I do spend quite a lot of time on these videos and it means a, a insane amounts to me. Thank you for watching.